brought to you by MTG Loot Chess. They're a new Magic the Gathering loot box based product that has multiple different types of boxes for old and new players to the game. I will leave their website and Patreon links in the description down below. Please guys, go check these guys out as they have a really great product and help support the channel. Hey everybody, Sneaky Narcotic back at it again with another YouTube video and in today's video I have a wonderful deck for you guys called Simic Ramp. This deck is a pretty fun deck to play. Uh, the basic idea is to go ahead and start getting your engine off with Ruin Crab or any of these one drops to try to boost yourself up to all the way to the end to Ugin. Um, Yes, Ugin is primarily my bomb, but so is Vivian. Being able to make those creatures is really good. Um, I, I'm i trying to find possibly a third bomb in case, and I could probably take Solemn Simulacrum out. But for now, this is how this deck works, and it's pretty good. So, generally the idea is to have a couple of landfall creatures. We have Kazundu Nectar Pot. We have Ruin Crab. We have uh, Territorial Scythe cat we we actually would probably in place of uh brazen bar we would have um oh let me see if i can find it real quick i apologize i haven't gotten any of them yet it's lotus cobra yeah uh, probably get some Lotus Cobras in there just to try to ramp out even more. We might even replace the Gilded Goose for that. I'm not quite sure, but one of those would be the proper slot to replace with Gil uh, with Lotus Cobra. I want to keep calling it Gilded Cobra, but that's not right. Um, but yeah, so that's the basic idea. Then we have our uh, other bomb is actually Oro. Oro is a 6-6 six, six creature that gains you life and draws you cards, so it's pretty good. Also lets you put an extra land down which is really good for you know landfall and whatnot but um the the main idea of course again is just to ramp all the way up to ugin and vivian so i have cultivate i have a uh, gilded goose to give us that one low extra mana uh to get up to cultivate on turn three or turn two and then um a solemn simacrum for now just to uh just be able to draw us a card as well as be very good you know, chump blocker. Plus, I love the art of this of this solemn, sad golem. Um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much the deck. Uh, I am running basic lands, islands, and forest, and then uh, just for a little bit of land filtering as well as landfall. I have fabled passage in here um, because I have cards that need me to have basic lands in in here. I'm not playing. Uh, you know, I'm not playing. Uh, evolving wilds or anything uh, like that but I did think Fabled Passage was a much needed uh, change in this deck but anyways guys let me get into a couple games and I will see you in just a second alrighty guys first game Bungo the Clown fantastic name gotta tell ya uh, you know, turn three cultivate's not that bad. We have a couple brazen borrows to ta uh, to try to tempo this out, as well as really one of the reasons why I slotted brazen borrow is just just so much utility in one card. <clears throat> See, like if he plays anything this turn, I'll just make him basically skip this turn. If he, uh, pays three mana for... Oh, okay. Okay, so... Pass. Are we about to go to my turn? Okay, Brazen Barrer. Only thing on the board I could do. Alright, and now we will cultivate. Grab a island, grab a forest. Uh, filled the forest. And there we go. 
We're going to actually save our Fabled Passage for now. Uh, go ahead with the Sad Golem. Uh, yes, we do. Oh, that land filtering. Oh, that land filtering. And then Gilded Goose. Huh. Oh, he exiled it. That's no bueno. Wait, I thought this card exiled. Huh, okay, I'm fine with that. He was a pawn anyways, so... Uh, yeah, I would love to draw a card. Thank you. Are you... okay. Sure. Okay. So, we're going to save our Brazen Bar, I think. Uh, we have enough to do both. Yep. So, we're going to play our Sad Golem. Yes. Uh, forest. And we'll play our Witching Well. Glad I did that in the proper order. <sighs> I kind of want to do the Scything Cat, but at the same time, I don't. I'm really hoping for a Planeswalker at this point in time. Or even a uh, Hedron Crab. Or uh, Ruin Crab. Ruin Crab. Hedron Crab? I'm really not remembering right now. Um, in that turn. So now his creature is about to get double strike. He's probably like, haha, I can actually beat your creature. Yeah, expected. Go ahead, and I'll draw another card. Eventually, I won't draw lands, you would think. <laughs> sure, resolve that. We'll make him pay the equip cost on it. Or, no, I guess we won't. Go ahead and bounce that back to your hand. You don't have a mana for it anyways. Um. So, yeah, now we'll uh, play Uro. Oh. Oro. Oro got us our Hedron Crab. But the sad part is I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure the Hedron Crab is dead soon. But at least we get one landfall trigger off of it. I apologize if that uh, noise is so loud. It, it really is a loud uh, mechanic. Uh, you know what? It's, it's probably proper to do this. So we'll go ahead and... Bring out Oro for the win. Gain some life. Put this land down. Mill him some more. And then we'll activate it. Mill him some more. <laughs> we almost have enough to do a solemn. And honestly, I should have grabbed a blue so I can use my brazen at instant speed. But oh well. You can't always make the best play. You can make pretty good plays, but not always the best play. Sure, yeah. Now, understandably, if I throw Uro at him right now, I win. <laughs> okay, so, uh, since we have no actual use for the food, we'll just go ahead and eat it. Ah, uh, cultivate. Okay, but first, let's throw Uro at him. Just in case we get a land off the top, we did not. Go ahead. I want you to double block an Oro. I really do. I really want you to double block my Oro. No? Okay. That's fine. That's fair. That's great. Uh, so, a lot of ramping here. All the ramps. Uh, green. Blue. Sad Golem. Uh, yeah, we'd love to. I'm pretty sure we're running out of basic lands to do, but it's okay. It's okay. Uh, and then Gilded Goose for Shiggles. And we still have enough to flash in a Brazen Bar or even do it Wishing Well. So yeah, we're doing pretty good. We have him down to 30 cards left in his deck. Not that I'm trying to win with Mill, but, uh... You know, it's there. Thank you. Oh my god, you're the best. 
please let me hit one of my six planeswalkers. Nope, but not a bad card. Uh, sure. Cool, now it's a 5-3. I'm fine with taking five, yes. You might as well, right? Right. Okay, resolve. And go ahead and pass that. Ah, uh, nah. And nope. Yeah, keep going. Oh man, you got me down to 20? No way. Okay, so what I want to do is continue to draw cards, because eventually I'll hit that Planeswalker stack that I have. Still no. Still no, guys. Well, this is going to hurt. Ruin Crab. <laughs> I'm going to mill the crap out of you now. <laughs> or should I say, the crab out of you. <laughs> All right, blue. We actually have enough to get Oro out if I, out of jail again. All right, and now we play Cultivate. <laughs> and go ahead. I remember somebody saying when he drawn Crab, which is very similar to Ruin Crab, when he drawn Crab was in Standard, that they absolutely hated Standard. And I can totally see why. A one blue mana Crab can uh, frick up your day. Because I'm not going to say the other word. Yeah. Oh, and an Oro, you say. Oh, yeah. Well, this this is just GG now. Because I'll just play my other Oro. Didn't even need a Planeswalker to win. Didn't I even need a Planeswalker to win? Just say, Oro, yep. Honestly, I can cast the other Oro again. <laughs> so, yep. Ah, good game. He sees it. Yes. Yes. All right. But yeah, you see, even even without the uh, Planeswalkers, Oro was a great addition to this deck. Alrighty, guys. Well, I had a bad hand last game. So let's see if my hand gets better. I love the Veroska that we're up against. Uh, sure. This actually is really good because of Witching Well. Um, that being said, we'll go ahead and do this. No. And yes. The reason I said no... It's because I kind of need double green mana. Another red deck. Um... Oh, that's not actually that bad. I didn't know there was a zero cost uh, artifact in standard anymore. Um, You know, it's best to just go ahead and have Brazen Bar. Okay, a red and black deck. I wonder if this is a sacrifice deck. This would be hilarious. Uh, yeah, no reason to actually play Brace and Bar right now. Now this is where he gets tripped up. We're playing green, guy. We're playing green. Go ahead. And again, no reason uh, to use that Brace and Bar just yet. We'll wait. Alrighty. So I think the proper play here is to go ahead and ruin crab. I think he's going to kill it, to be honest. I could always brazen bar that back to my hand, I think. Don't talk about my opponents. No, we could not brazen bar that card. Alright. 
One thing about milling uh, your opponent you, is you always need to remember what they have. Because they have multiple pieces of the same cards. Yeah? You, you're getting salty about a little mill. The power of milling. Wait till I cultivate here. Then we'll get real salty. Oh, man, guys. I really hope he doesn't rope me. I hate getting roped when I'm recording a video, of course. When I'm not recording a video, I love getting roped. Please, if you play against Sneaky or, excuse me, Van Ella, then please. Please rope me. Rope me, senpai. All right. So he's playing Jund. When I play Jund, it's always Jund Control. So I don't know what he's doing. I guess he's playing Jund Landfall. Okay, so this actually makes it a little more different. Uh, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Okay. So I'm going to Ruin Crab. We're going to win this. Don't you worry. We're going to win this. This is your negative two ability. Oh yeah, yeah, food chain. Uh, yeah. Sad golem, go. A scoot swarm. Come on, buddy. Thank you. Take action. Uh, grab me a green. Okay, and then we're going to Brazen Bar. Uh, when he plays the spell, we'll Brazen Bar. We might actually, he might be able to do it. To where, hmm, I don't know. Maybe we should go ahead and Brazen Bar. Since he still has to waste the mana, we might as well make him waste the mana, right? That's the proper play there. Go ahead. Yeah, you see that your two uh, Tormod's crypt does nothing for right now. That's what he sees. It only matters to one card, and that card would be Oro. Okay. So the answer is yes to this card. Sure, might as well. Might as well go ahead. It's like, yes, a reason to play the tomb. I knew it. I knew there would be a reason to play the tomb. We don't even have enough cards. So yeah, I mean, I don't care. Go ahead and use your tomb. Uh... Cultivate. Yeah, he's gonna go ahead and use the tomb. Oh man, oh no. One of my three or four Oros, I forget which one, went down. No, but no. Alright, landfall. And landfall. And gilded goose. Alright. So, nah, we're going to keep up our blockers. He still has some Jundy goodness for us somewhere here. We might be spending next turn drawing cards. Oh, Cultivate! Well, God, look at you! That's a fantastic card. Wish I would play that card. That card's just all too good. I was actually really excited to see this come back to standard. I know it came back in M21 as I'm staring at the set, but it's still cool to see it. This is actually another card I thought about putting in here, just because it's really good at a uh, at keeping your opponent at bay. I just do not 
have it. So we're going to use this card to go ahead and scry. Uh, you know, we could use a land. Yeah, of course, you know, two lands. Why wouldn't we? So I'm wondering if I should go ahead. I guess I should go ahead and Vivian. Plus one. Uh, Vigilance? And yeah, sure. Auto pay. Oh, that's pretty cool. We could play Brazen Barrier off the top next. There we go. Not too shabu. He has yet again another crypt. So we're winning the race when it comes to milling for sure. Okay. The good thing about your auspicious sterics is that, um, Jesus, what did I miss? Okay, so first things first. If we bounce this, does it bounce the whole thing? I apologize if y'all can hear those dogs in the background. I just realized it myself. Ah, oh, we're getting there. Okay, so activate ability. Okay, yes. Yes, we're getting there. Getting exactly where I wanted to be. Please rope a dope me. Green, blue, uh, grr, blue. Um, plus one. Vigilance. And yeah, we'll pass. There's no reason for us not to. So he has all of seven cards left. Okay, so here's the thing. I want to see what happens if I bounce this. Yeah, 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 y'all yeah, scream. I think Cavern just comes down by itself, if I'm not mistaken. I'm just... I don't remember. Oh, he's staring pretty damn hard like I won the... <laughs> won the Nobel Prize here. I mean... Oh no, a brazen bar. Why, of course. Of course, the brazen bar from across the land comes forth and takes my auspicious sterics. And resolve. <laughs> uh, okay, well, as you can see, um, Mutate never wins against this deck. <laughs> uh, gold tier one. Such a well deserved. Alrighty, guys, let's play one last game. Let's see, yes, that's it's a keep of land, I believe. I believe it is. I'm really worried because uh, Ugin's in my hand, <gasps> but I believe it's keepable. Brazen Bar. Let's Witching Well for something good. Oh, the Cultivate. The Cultivate, though. I guess I need... Uh-uh. I need, I need not to play that game. 
There's there's three more cultivates in my deck. <laughs> I just need to get to a third land so I can play my Oro so I feel better about myself. That's all I need. Ah, a third land. I am going to be a turn behind, but that is okay. It looks like we might be playing against my Cleric Tribal deck. God, I hope so. It was a fantastic deck. No, it was Orzov, so we're not playing against it. We're gonna, playing against some life gain bullcrap. Sure thing. Say bullcrap like I, I mean it. Uh, activate. Uh, we're gonna keep a brazen bar because otherwise I'll feel like an idiot. So. Four, you say. Angel of Vitality. Okay, well, that gives you enough not to play this card. Yay, two damage. Uh... Really hope there's a third land in my future. Ha ha ha! Asking it shall be given! Alright, and then one three. Oh, let's see. I have three in my. So he's just playing straight up white life gain. Which is fine. Uh, yeah, we'll block. See, well, no reason not to. Okay. Um. I think we need to play Vivian's Monsters Advocate. Plus one. Uh, Reach. No. I call and Akoria answers. Right now, our play is just to board wipe with Ugin, to be honest. Um, just hoping I can make it that far. I'm at 15 right now. I need some of my stuff to die so I can get to five cards in my graveyard. Including... Ah, so I actually need uh, three more things to die. Oh, look, Heliod. Alright, well, crap. He's about to do what Heliod does. Yes, my, my, I almost called this an auspicious starrings. Yes, this will, will block here, and this will block anywhere. <laughs> uh Okay, so, yeah, please put it on one creature. Nope, he's spreading it out. Lovely. Yeah. So thankfully, nothing. I aimed too high. Okay, well. Crap. It's another land. That's uh this is just brutal because I'm pretty sure we lose. He needs how much devotion? He needed uh five. So if I get rid of her, he'll lose all five. Boom, nailed it. He's still probably gonna kill me, but I bid myself some time.
Okay, so that's number seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Your Blight Oro. Yeah. Yeah, all of that, please. I just need another land to get to the board as fast as I can. Oh, so close. It's not a land, though. Um, but he drawn the crab down as defense. Next, in turn, Brazen Bar is going to help us out. Hopefully. Uh, sure. Okay, so here's the thing. I would need. Yeah, I don't. I think I should. Even though I really bad. Hmm. That would be so the improper play, but I really wish I could. Because I'd be. Four plus six, ten. You know what? We're gonna do it. If it kills me, it kills me. I went out in a blast of fun. Okay. Fantastic. Well, <laughs> he's probably looking at it like, "What the hell just happened?" I was hoping I'd get three life and uh, a card draw out of it, but we can't all win. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay, so this dies, and this has to block that because I'm tired of <clears throat> all your life gain. <sighs> Come on, please. Please, dear God, please. Please. I'm begging for a land on top. I'm absolutely ecstatically begging. Yes, you guys don't even know how much I just freaked out on my headset there. Oh, man. Okay, hold on. One, two, three. Literally three? Okay. Good game, buddy. That means... Oh, actually, I need to go ahead and swing with Oro. Uh, yes. Yas, queen. Um... Sure. Blue. And now we're going to exile everything with three or so mana. Just to double check, because I have done that in the past. Pay three. No, Siri. That's totally fine. That banishing light means nothing to me. Nothing. I have taken your defenses and destroyed them. Okay. So now we're hoping for another miracle. And now... Hmm, I should have played the Kazunda. I should play some landfall cards so I'm not playing like an idiot. Pass turn. Sure, that glass casket looks full. Yeah, resolve it. I will wait for you to attack like I should have. Sure. Linden. Block. A gilded Gus. Uh, let me tap mana like I should. Go ahead. And go ahead. Pass that turn. Don't 
worry about what the food does. The food is none of your concern. Sure, yeah, I know. I totally, uh, mm, resolve, pass, resolve. He's gonna put it all on Linden, and I have an idea. Uh, yeah. Really? You didn't put it all on Linden? I think I would do this and be totally okay with this. So first off, hmm. Okay, I see. I see the issue. All right. Well, this and this, and there we go. And we've lost. Uh, or have we? We'll, we'll, uh, yeah, go ahead. Game life, pass the turn. Really thought we had enough lands, but okay, land deck. We can do this. Okay, so. Resolve all of that. Resolve it. Resolve it. We probably should have kept something better than this, but oh well. Okay, so. Pass to blocks. Block here, block there. We'll go block. Before damage is dealt, we will create a food. We will crack both of these food. Alrighty. So by the hairs of our chinny chin chin here. Uh I had a feeling I would get an Oro. Okay, so sad golem. Take action. Uh, this. Oro. Getting rid of everything we can. Oh, look at that. Another land. You are absolutely joking. Okay. Oh, good. We wouldn't have won anyways. Great. Okay, right, we're gonna concede to this and I'm gonna play one more one more game. Alright guys, this is gonna be a fast game. I've been recording for a good minute, but I wanted to wanted to get one more win in today. Fantastic keep. Fantastic keep. Curved out, got awesome cards. Yep, fantastic keep. Keep. 
see what he does here. Nope. Okay. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, Hedron Crab number two. A.K.A. Ruin Crab. Sure, yeah. You know that... Okay. Doesn't matter what you scryed on the other end. That's all I was going to say. Alrighty. Maybe we should play all of our... Thing is, uh, he's playing in white, and I feel like they're... Now he's playing in black. I feel like there's at least one kill spell coming soon. That tears it. I, I need to do Ugin. Uh, so yes. God. I don't want to get greedy. I, I keep looking at it. I don't want to get greedy. Blue green. Go ahead and fill the green. And keep going. Hey, what'd I say? A quick win. Alright, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna stop it there. Uh, as you guys can see, there is some ups and downs to this deck. It does need, uh, I feel like, one extra card. And I haven't figured out what that card is quite yet. Whether that's a Lotus Cobra. Whether that's some type of draw spell or activated ability like maybe Kenrith. But... I don't know, and Kenrith would require, obviously, some way to get into the other th three colors, uh, as well as white, to get him out. But anyways, guys, let me know what y'all think about the deck. Uh, leave a like, leave a comment, please subscribe, and this is Sneaky Narcotic. Signing off.